How we doing gang? PPS here, back for another day for YouTube free plays. Um, we are on a little skid on the YouTube videos. Um, gotta get back in the win column. Um, nothing else to it. Um, my stacks picks are going going well, 3-0. Uh, I just gotta be better in the other ones. Um, Wheeler, my first loss with them, so that, that hurt. Um, honestly, I, I'm not making an excuse for them. I'm really not. But um, there was an error in the second play of the game. I mean, how do you make an error in the second play of the game? Cost them an extra 25 pitches. Probably would have got an extra inning out of it. And we ended up with six. He went six innings. Could have easily got seven. Um, but it is what it is. Can't control everything. Um, and we're back to it. Um, this is actually going to be a double tournament play, so I'm only going to drop one play today. Um, but I'm going to have it in both tournaments that I'm in. Really like this play um, a lot, actually. Um, one of those ones that just seems off to me, um, and I'm getting that plus money. So let's do it. Uh, today, we are going to go with Tyler Molly over 7.5 strikeouts plus 110. Um, and I mean, th this is against my Brewer, so. I would be looking at it forever. Um, and you know it sucks for me to go against my Brewers, but the numbers back me up. Um, Molly's been elite on the road. He's actually had a game against the Brewers in Milwaukee, struck out 12 through six. Um, he's got a 201 ERA and a 188 batting average against on the road, plus a 30% strikeout rate to go along with that. Um, the Brewers are third in the league in strikeouts. Um, over the last three games, they've averaged 11 11.33 strikeouts um, per. Um, and there's just a lot of guys on our team chase. Uh, like I said, I watch 90% of the Brewers games because uh, they're my home team. Um, as they've been winning these games, a lot of them have been because of the pitching. Peralta, Woodruff, Burns, even Brett Anderson has been throwing well. Our bullpen's elite, but it comes down to it, the Reds bullpen sucks. They know their bullpen sucks, and they gotta make these guys go out a little bit longer on the starting side. Um, last week alone, um, Trevor Magill, seven strikeouts. DeGrom, 10. Um, Tyler Anderson for the Pirates even got six, and Will Crow for the Pirates got six. So these guys are not strikeout guys. Will Crow, I think, is under a 20% strikeout rate, six strikeouts through four and two thirds. Um, He's got a 29% K rate against righties. Um, the Brewers do overall as a team have a 29.6% strikeout rate against righties. Um, one other thing I do like is that we're seeing a lot of pitches from Molly. He's at 95 plus pitches in six of the last seven. Really like that spot. Um, he's, like I said, a lead on the road. Um, his last four outings, he's gone eight strikeouts, 12 strikeouts, eight strikeouts, eight strikeouts. Um, and the 12 strikeout was the Brewers. Um, and then four um, of the last six games, he's gone at least six innings, two of them going seven. Um, so I like that a lot. Um, the Brewers struggle with heavy velo. That's really the issue that we have is when we face those high level guys and guys who can run it up 95 plus, we have an issue with it. We really chase, we have a very high chase rate. Um, Keston, uh, Keston, Adamas, Bradley, Garcia, and Yelich are all over 30% whiff rate, so missing balls um, on the swings. And I mean, the Brewers are gonna have a huge issue with the split finger fastball that uh, Tyler Molly throws. It's one of the best ones in the league. Um, probably up there with Shohei's. Um, his splitter is about 86 miles an hour and he's got around a 40% whiff rate um, and a 27% put away pitch. So a lot of strikeouts on that pitch. Um, and that makes him very hard to hit for lefties as well. Um, that's why his splits are good on both sides. Um, when we see Brewers facing heavy velo, they tend to chase a lot more. Um, and we have guys that will strike out, but they do have power, right? That's how the Brewers win games. Hit home runs, strike out a lot. New baseball is kind of like the Atlanta Braves, but the Brewers even strike out more. Um, it's really tough to go against my Brewers here, but the whiff rate is that high, 29% um, against um, righties with that strikeout rate. And just getting the fact I can get it at plus money, plus 110 here, I'm only riding one play. If you want to take him on prize picks, I like him on prize picks. I love his strikeout prop here. Like I said, he's hit this number in the last four road games, plus 110 today. Um, just seems disrespectful to Tyler Molly. Um, I took him um, against the Cubs at home last time. I took his under seven and a half and he got seven. Um, here, 
We're going against the Brewers at home, very low. They're batting 218 at home. They're batting 216 at night. So both of those are the two worst of the of the two splits versus home and away um, day and night. So ton of ton of action here. I love this spot. I, I wrote up a whole thing. Baseball Savant's leading me this way. Fangraphs is leading me this way. Um, team strikeout rates leading me this way. Everything is pointing here to Tyler Molly. Um, if he can attack in the zone today um, and get us through six innings, I have no issue seeing him get eight. Um, I also don't think that we're going to have an issue um, if he gets to seven innings. Um, we'll just have to finish those two strike counts and seeing the 30% whiff rate on multiple five out of the nine starters and that's not even counting the pitcher. I really like this spot. I love this spot for Tyler Molly uh, to get us to that eight strike. I'll get us out of this slump um, and I have it in both tournaments so we need this guy tonight. I love this spot. Let's cash this ticket. Tyler Molly, hopefully you go seven innings, 12 strikeouts, three homers given up and the Brewers get a W. So. Have a great night, guys. Um, tomorrow I'll be on um, Bet With Us over there again for soccer. Um, so I might not have a YouTube video play here. Um, just stay tuned on Twitter um, again and just make sure you're paying attention over there and let's cash another ticket and be ready for that YouTube video tomorrow. So have a good one, guys. Let's go Molly.